Picture ancient Egypt, gold, pyramids, and the world's first nanotech flex, Egyptian blue. It looks like a normal blue pigment, but hit it with visible light and it glows in the infrared like a secret flashlight your eyes can't see. Modern labs measure that glow and use it for imaging, security inks, even solar tech. Not bad for a 3,000-year-old paint. What is it? A crystalled calcium copper silicate. Craftsmen made it by cooking sand, limestone, copper, and a little alkali in a kiln. Blue glassy chunks in, fine powder out, walls pop, statues pop, mummy coffins pop. Here's the weird part. That infrared glow depends on crystal size and structure, the same way engineered nanomaterials behave today. So did ancient artisans actually tune it on purpose? Maybe they controlled grind size, kiln temperature, and time until the sheen was just right. Or maybe the nanotech was a happy accident that came with perfecting a stable, vivid blue for art. Quick kitchen table test idea. Shine a cheap TV remote, that's IR, at a camera that can see IR, like many phone cams in night mode. Paint three swatches, coarse grind, fine grind, and a modern replica. Then excite with a bright LED. If the fine grind glows stronger on camera, that points to size tuning. Scale that up in a real lab and you can map glow versus grain like a proper materials engineer. Bottom line, Egyptian blue isn't just pretty, it's functional, an ancient material with modern superpowers. If you want me to do a DIY demo with a phone cam and LEDs, comment glow like a pharaoh. Subscribe for more weird fun history with receipts.